including ballistic missiles in the Middle East, is not being addressed in an effective or genuine manner. Our major joint venture or regional project, the peace process, has come to a complete halt. It currently witnesses its deepest, deepest and most serious crisis since its inception back in 1977 and in 1991. Our bilateral military cooperation, our bilateral military cooperation, the current policies of the Israeli government have put in doubt the possibility of a settlement in the minds of the peoples of the region. Those policies have had this, this negative effect, not because they are tough negotiating positions, which would have been understandable and legitimate, but rather because they represent a clear departure from the parameters and the principles upon which the whole process was built. Should be asked and should be answered with whoever wants to contribute to the work in the Middle East. It is unfortunate that the Israeli government has not responded positively to it. The time has come to reassess the situation in light of this Israeli position and to work together to find alternatives that guarantee that all parties remain faithful to the principles of peace as agreed in Madrid and uphold the commitments that have been undertaken under the principle of land for peace. Calm and steady atmosphere of along the border and in dealing between the two countries. This is, you cannot say that we recognize you as Palestinian people, but then say you have no right to have a, a, a future of your own or self-determination or to determine your own future or to live in freedom. All this is built in, in what the Israelis have agreed in Oslo and in the basic premise adopted unanimously in Madrid, which is land for peace, signed because it was balanced.